Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa and if you're new here, I make fashion and beauty and sometimes lifestyle and college videos and I put out my videos every Thursday and Sunday. So if you're interested in how I got this cute brunchy look, then just keep watching. I'm feeling a little spicy this morning. I'm feeling a little bit, you know, I need more coffee. That's that's what's happening. All right, we need to jump in to primer. I think I'm going to use my... Oh, I'm going to use my Milani Chill Out Primer. I'm just going to assume it's going to work with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. And I didn't paint my nails yet, so if you see them in the video, just ignore them. Oh, I forgot to put my hair back. Oh, no, no, no. This is crucial. You guys got to remind me. There we go. Now we're cooking. I think I'm a little far from you guys. I should probably zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Let me do that. There we go. You can see my face. So I didn't wet my beauty sponge. Typical, typical. We're just gonna do it right now. I feel like I need to be zoomed in more. All right, I feel like you guys have a great view of my head now. So let's get cooking. I am going to, I think I'm gonna mix them. Oh wait, did I even finish priming my face? This is already a hot mess. We like just started. I'm gonna go in with just the CC cream though and see what happens. I just want to see how light it is, and then I can go in and add lube. Okay, so this stuff is just so much fuller coverage than I remember. I mean, I only tried it once. I should probably start adding that other shade before I blend this all out, but we're just going to let it ride. Was that one pump? Did you see how many pumps I put on my hand? <laughs> oh, this looks hilarious. All right, let me um, add in a little bit of light. The coverage on this is literally insane. How did I not know about this? All right, we're gonna do, oh, I probably shouldn't have done another full pump. We're making mistakes left and right. We're gonna do a full pump and a half pump. <sighs> Why did I do this? All right, I mixed it on my forehead like a palette. And I'm gonna take it on my neck and the rest of my face. So I guess this is our concealer today too because I put way too much on, but it's okay. <laughs> um, oh no, my lips are getting dry and crusty. I mean, it's actually like a good shade for me. It's just weird seeing this much foundation on my face. All right, I'm gonna put this away because I do not need any more of this on my face. Oh wait, I need, where is it? My basket for my makeup. All right, let me get this foundation off my lips. All right, we are glossed up. I think I'm gonna go in with my setting powder under my eyes really fast because I don't want to crease. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I can never remember the name of this. Something about this product. Under my eyes. On my eyes. I think I need to zoom you guys out. I feel like all right, I'm gonna set all of my problem areas, which is my entire face. I just lightly dab in the powder. I don't swipe because I don't want any of my foundation to move. I did try to spread it out as thin as I could, the foundation. Um, I put a little too much on, but it's not the end of the world, mate. I've been watching this show called Outback Truckers. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why I'm so enthralled by it, but Nick and I cannot stop saying mate and stuff like that from the show. It's so funny. Like, there's this one trucker and he was passing another trucker and he was like, no dramas, mate. No dramas. And so now if something happens, but like we're okay, we're like, no dramas. <laughs> oh, so funny. Yeah, watch that show. It's so interesting. We are now looking slightly powdery, but it's fine. Trust the process. I just don't want to use a big brush because I've been having problems using big powder brushes and it like taking off my foundation no matter what technique I use. So we're going to use this technique. Now my favorite part, the bronzing. Something about bronzing I just love. This is the shade Sunkissed. I think this is the wrong one. I think I need suntan. Yeah. Got foundation on my shirt. Here's suntan. Love this stuff. So at first I thought they discontinued this product. And I did a little bit of digging and they reformulate it into those duos. So they have the shades Sun Kiss and Sun Tan as the same color in their duos that has like a, I don't know if it's supposed to be a highlighter or a shimmery bronzer, 
but once this runs out I'm gonna get the duo um, and see if I like the formula still but for now I'm just gonna keep using this because I love this powder and if you want this one just go for the duo option because that's the one that they're selling now I guess it's like the updated version I think it's the same formula I don't know I need to look into it I feel like once I put bronzer on I start looking normal Now for blush, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Blush in Dim Infusion. It's just a super pretty pink, um, kind of like pearly pink. If you have a deeper skin tone, I'm not sure that this would work on you. It would probably be a very pretty highlighter. But if you have a lighter skin tone like me, this works perfectly. They do have some very pigmented blushes and deeper shades that would work if you have a different skin tone though. Love that little flush. I think I'm gonna work on brows now. So I'm still using my Kosas products and I love them. I feel like it just makes super quick work of the brow process. And I'm the type of person, I don't wanna spend an hour on my brows. I wanna just fill them in and be done with my day. I do also recognize that I have some brow hair so I'm really just filling in sparse areas. I feel like if you have very um sparse brows it may be a different story for you but this is still a nice product and then i just brush through them after i fill them in i feel like you guys have seen me do this before i still have yet to get my eyebrows done that's not changing <laughs> now for the brow gel let's set these bees in place okay my only complaint with this is sometimes I get little chunks and I don't know why. I do not want little chunks in my brows. I don't know about you. This brow is always higher arch than this one, so I kind of look like, but whatever. Be what it be. Okay. Brows, check. We are just knocking this makeup out of the park, guys. We're doing it. What do we have left? Tell me, guys, what do we have left to do? What do we want to do to our faces today? I guess I'll do eyeshadow next but I want a different palette it's behind me hold on do we want to be sultry today I think we do let's go for it I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills sultry palette if you couldn't tell I'm going to create something I don't know what oh I don't want to be sultry actually it's like a springtime brunchy vibe okay I take that back we're going light bright airy even though we've already started with a deeper color in our crease than I normally would. It's okay. There are some, maybe we'll do a rosy look. Yeah. Okay, let me just get this down. You don't always have to start with a transition color, by the way. I feel like everybody does. You don't have to. I'm just doing it because I'm a follower, not a leader. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, I like what we've done. I like what we've done with the place. Now I'm going to go in with a rose quartz and put that all over my lid. Wow, so pretty. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my finger into the pearl shade and brighten it up. And now I need to define my bottom, define my bottom lash line. Okay, all right, okay. And then highlight my eyes. And then that's a super quick and easy way to get brunch eyes. I haven't done this in a while. I take my color and I spray my setting spray. This is the Lily Lolo setting spray, by the way. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, now we can do that all over again on the other side of our face. I'm kind of in a beamy mood today. I want everybody to see me. I want my highlight to be popping. So, with that being said... And I try to use as little brush as possible, so I literally just wipe this in the back of my hand. Probably not sanitary. Makeup artists are probably quaking right now, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take this really shimmery shade and put it in my brow bone. See how this goes. Obsessed. Good choice. We're making good team decisions today. I'm proud of us, guys. So proud. Now I'm going to define my lash line a little bit, just so when I put my mascara on, it pops. So I'm taking the shade Dystopian from this palette. I 
Okay, so we didn't put highlighter on, we didn't put lips on, and we didn't do stunning spray, so those are our next missions in life. Of course, as always, I'm using my little baby RMS Beauty Grand Dame highlighter. It is just chef's kiss. I just think it's so beautiful and glowy, and it always elevates my look every time I put it on. If you want something more muted, the Honest Beauty one that I talked about before is very low-key. Also, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders are very low-key. This is not as low-key. I think we're going to do the Honest Beauty Liquid Lip and Off-Duty. And I have the Sephora Lip Liner in number four, Creme de la Creme. And there we go. Oh wait, I need to set my face. All right, so the look is done. We're looking cute. I need to pick out an outfit. So we're gonna do that next. And I also need to do my nails. I probably should have done that first, but we're doing things out of order today. So I got this super cute Priory dress from Nordstrom's. It's so cute. It has these, what are these? Orange and green flowers all over it, which I normally would never go for orange and green. But I think the style is so cute with the sleeve so adorable i'm just gonna have to keep my hair over my band-aid so nobody sees that yeah so i think i'm gonna pair this with hmm what shoes do i want i have those target shoes i'll insert a picture that i think i'm gonna wear with this and then um i'm not gonna need a purse but i'm gonna bring my like regular rebecca makeoff purse and i think this is a look i'm really digging the dress super affordable and i'm gonna show it to you guys in an upcoming nordstrom haul it just isn't up yet so yeah, it's from the BP line, adorbs. All right, you guys, that is it. That is the outfit. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and had fun getting ready with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. We hit over a thousand, which is amazing, so I wanna keep the channel growing. But all right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.